Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Aquarius's weekly love message for this upcoming energy. Now if you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. And for information on personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. So let's dive in, Aquarius, and see what we can see for you guys for the upcoming week. Most important message here for Aquarius spirit. What do my Aquarian friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Secrets. feel here there's something being hidden from you at this time Aquarius okay some secrets and these secrets are about to be revealed now I do feel like there is a person around you that is trying to control the outcome control the narrative when it comes to whatever information that's being withheld so this is either a mother uh and somebody along those lines I definitely feel like it's a person, Aquarius, who you would look up to, like a mother or a grandmother. But this secret that's being withheld, we'll see how this plays out into the reading, okay? The energy surrounding you, Aquarius, the chariot, the ace of cups, and the sun. It's challenging you. The Nine of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. And in the outcome, Aquarius, we have the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. I do feel like a new beginning, a new opportunity is being presented here. But is that what's being kept secret? Or is that why you're withholding and not really approachable when it comes to this so I'm just gonna say exactly what I'm getting from this reading and this isn't going to resonate for everyone it's going to be a very specific message okay but this is definitely an energy of a person's mother who has been in and out of their life back and forth maybe very toxic, trying to control the narrative. And this is like you putting your foot down and saying enough is enough. Now, I'm going to clarify throughout the reading. We're going to pull a few cards at the end of the for advice. But don't worry, stress, or fear the outcome here, Aquarius. You know exactly what is best for you intuitively, okay? So if you are having a hard time differentiating what's your intuition, well, in order to tap in, you quiet your mind, quiet your surroundings. But then it's going to be the very first inkling, okay? That questioning, that what if for um, Knight of Wands energy, okay? That is all your ego coming in and playing a role, making you disbelieve in your own truth, okay? In your own power. So let's clarify the energy surrounding you, Aquarius, the chariot, the ace of cups, the, the sun, the happiest card in the deck. So it's like you're going along in life, leaning into your friends, leaning into your family members, doing what it is that you need to do to actively move forward and take care of business. Definitely feel Queen of Swords energy. This is you, Aquarius, just being very straightforward, very practical, maybe even a little detached emotionally from the outcome, which is perfectly normal in this situation. 
anybody who has a, a parent, not just a mother, but anybody who has a parent that is back and forth in another life has a right to question this person's integrity. Okay. Are they being honest? Now, part of the challenge here, Aquarius, is the questioning. Okay. Is the fear, is the worry, is the looking back on the past and really holding on to that grudge. Okay. <clears throat> and here's why this is holding you back. And we're going to clarify this in a minute. But Aquarius, I feel here that you're looking at the situation and, and rightfully so, that your mom has never been there. She's always been flighty in and out of your life. And so why? Why give her another chance? Why give her a second chance? And you don't have to. It's really on her at this point to prove that she's going to show up. And rightfully so. Now, do I feel like she is going to show up. I'm going to clarify the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups, the Knight of Wands right now first. But I definitely feel here, Aquarius, that you are in the right to protect your energy. We see in the outcome, the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands. If you don't protect yourself, then this could be too much, burdensome, right? It could be another stick in the fire. So it's okay to protect your heart when it comes to this person, okay? It's not the child's responsibility. It's the parent's. It's never the child's responsibility to build a relationship, to show the parent how to communicate. Now, granted, there are those of us, and I can speak from personal experience, there are those of us that their mom really isn't that responsible. Maybe she's had kids when she was young or she's never really grown up. And in that context, Aquarius, I challenge you to give her a little bit of grace with the situation. Now, it's going to determine like if she just grew up normal and everything was normal and there's no reason for her to act in this manner but most of us have a past most of us have history and a lot of us even though right now we're trying to work through it because of the energies that are coming up and the astrological alignments that are present we are now facing our shadow aspect of us and really coming to terms with those parts of us that have been holding us back but that in itself is a process, the start, and it's not going to happen overnight. So if there's a person in your life, mom, best friend, significant other, that has been for the past at least eight or nine months, been really flighty and in and out and back and forth and not really showing up like they should, it's okay for you to guard yourself from this person's energy. Rightfully so. Now, do I feel like this person will come around? There is a healing aspect to all of this. What's done in the dark will always come to the light. People will have to face their shadow. It's inevitable. Eventually, people grow up. No matter, maybe it's when they're 70. People have to eventually face themselves. But is it something that they... It's usually when they we go through this healing process, it's almost like a train hits us. It's like a train wreck, okay? Something significant has to happen in order for us to face that shadow aspect of self. And this person, I feel, is avoiding that at this time. I also feel here, Aquarius, this person has some owning up to do, some apologizing that they have yet to do with 
intention and meaning with emotion behind it, not just a shallow apology. Okay. Is this person coming around? I do feel like this person is coming around. Okay. I do feel like they will eventually have to face themselves. Whatever it is that was happening in their life up to this point was put on a pause. Okay. One thing I will stand true on Aquarius is we can never worry about other people. We can only worry about ourselves. And what I see coming through here, Aquarius, is a warning message. Tower energy. You are needing to protect yourself. You're being intuitively guided when you feel like you need to protect yourself from this person. And there is a reason why. This person has been flighty in and out, back and forth your whole life. And they still are. Okay. It's okay to accept that. However, there's no need to beat this person up over that. And that's what I feel like is coming out here. It's like maybe you're harsh with your words with this person or like straightforward or direct with this person. And there's a need, Aquarius, coming through to give this person a little bit of grace. Okay. If you feel a need to lash out with your tongue, okay, telling this person like what they did, how they made you feel. Right now, I feel like it's falling on deaf ears. And so conserving that energy. You're going to know when this person is ready to hear that. You're going to know this person is ready to hear and be accountable for their actions. How will you know? When this person comes to you, Aquarius, and they will, and you haven't talked to this person for some time, and this person is going to come to you and literally beg you, how can they make this right? How can they make this work? If they don't come to you in that energy, they're not ready and open to hearing your message. So conserve your energy. But if they're coming to you and like Aquarius, what can I do to make this right? You know, I'm sorry for what I've done and the past things. And they keep saying it over and over again. That's when you can say, by you being in and out of my life for so long, the only thing that I can trust is that you're not going to be here. Period. You know, you think I want to accept that my mom's not going to be around? It's hard to experience that, to have to live up and be the responsible party in the parent child dynamic. Again, Aquarius, I only know from personal experience. So your soul truth message coming out for your reading is how does my body want to move today? When we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? Is it time to try something new? Today's soul action, how does your body want to move today? Listen and joyfully do Beautiful, beautiful. So, Aquarius, I definitely feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Not just this person, but just in general and even with yourself. It's just try and view the world from the glass half full. And I know that sounds so cliche and everybody always says it. But it can make the day go by a little easier. So... Aquarius, thank you guys again for all the love and the support. If you found the message was helpful, if it was resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful. 
how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Thank you guys again, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.